Hello and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I am a Twitch streamer, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. If you missed my last video, I reacted to Lauren Ashore's To the Hellfire, and I gotta say, well, Ramos has a special place in my heart. The whole band together really just blew me away and gave me chills. I am so obsessed with them now, and I cannot wait to hear more of them. But today, we're going back to some more Slaughter to Prevail. We're gonna dive into Demolisher. I already fell in love with them when I heard Baba Yaga, so I'm so excited to hear some more because I've been thinking about them a lot, so let's listen to it together. But before we get started, if you are liking what you see here, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss another video ever again. That being said, let's get started with some Slaughter to Prevail. Okay, I just I want to make a, a, a one note um, really quickly. I don't know if anyone else can relate, but I miss, I miss these kinds of shows. I think the last show I went that was, you know, very, very small, because I, I feel like a lot of bands that I've listened to for a really long time have slowly gotten bigger the more well-known they've gotten. And, you know, the, they don't really get to perform really intimate shows like this, which is the absolute best, but I have a really good memory. Uh, I listened to Veil of Maya and, and, and the concert was so small. This was like, I want to say like six years ago. I left with the black eye and bruises everywhere. The circle pit was insane. And it's just so awesome to, you know, kind of get, you know, brought back to a time when this was more normal. So it's kind of nice to see this. But, you know, right off the bat, Alex's voice is is just so incredible. Um, I did see a little bit of Will Ramos's um, technique in, in, in doing like a vocal, uh, like a vocal technique or vocal warm up on how, how they get their voice to do those, you know, really deep growls. I'd be really curious to see some of uh, Alex Terrible's work and, and if he has any like, you know, tutorials or or advice or behind the scenes or anything because his growls, his lows are very low and they sound very, very clean. Like you could tell, you know, the enunciation of his words is really, really nicely done. Um, sometimes it sounds like a jumbled mess, like very muffled, but you know, his, his vocals, the very deep and even the very high pitched ones sound really, really nice and the enunciation is really spot on, which I really enjoy. Субтитры 
That was that was actual that was actually perfect that ending. Okay, so I have a fun question for you guys. I have a heart rate monitor that I use for uh when I play video games for my streams and these songs really just blow my my breath away and they make my heart race. So I was thinking if if you all would be interesting interested in, in me adding a a heart rate monitor. You could see a little bit off to the corner so you can see how these songs really do affect me because that I I'm shaking. I'm like actually shaking a little bit. That ending right there was so freaking clean. It was so clean. It was so good. Alex Terrible, literally just amazing. So, so talented. So incredible. I'm so excited to dive more into a lot of their solo stuff. I know a lot of people in comments have mentioned that he does, you know, some covers and some covers that I would have never thought would ever be an Alex Terrible cover. I'm so excited to see because, you know, he seems like someone who is so, so talented and has a vast knowledge of music, not just through deathcore, but, you know, different genres. And I'm so excited to see what else he has, you know, in his, in his inventory, because it seems like he can do it all. Those, those growls, that growl at the end literally just left me speechless. It was absolutely spot on incredible. The drums were amazing. Guitars are amazing. Bassiness was on point. Literally every single member of this band was on, on, on their stuff in this song. It was absolutely incredible. I loved it. I loved it so much. I've only heard Baba Yaga and Demolisher so far, but please give me some more of your favorite Slaughter to Prevail songs because I love deathcore a lot. It's actually one of my favorite genres and I would love to experience, you know, some more deathcore artists that I didn't even know existed. You know, I, I've heard these names before, obviously, but some of them I, I didn't even know or never got a chance to, you know, sit down and really give them a listen. So listening with you guys is just so, so awesome because you guys can see my reactions and I just feel like I get a little piece of you guys also because I feel like we we learn more about people through music, not just by words, but by by hearing songs that we all connect through together and hearing the lyrics and you get you kind of understand. It's like I'm giving you a piece of me if I give you my favorite band, which is really nice and I appreciate it so much when you guys comment and, and let me know the, of artists that you want me to hear because it just shows me that, you know, you, you just want me to fall in love with them as well, just like you are. So yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for all the love and support. You all are just absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos. If you do want to see me, I, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But other than that, if you like what you see here, please like the video and uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss another video ever again. All right, you guys, I'll be back very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye.